No matter what breed of dog you own, regular grooming at home in between professional grooms helps to keep their skin and coats healthy. So where do you begin? Now this might sound strange, but washing your dog when it's dirty is not always the right thing to do. Overwashing can rob a dog's skin and coat of essential oils. So check what's recommended for your dog's breed and their hair type with your vet or groomer. Also, if your dog has longer hair or a double coat that is not being regularly brushed, it might actually be matted underneath. Now, the reason why this is not good for our dogs because if you add water to it, it actually makes the mat worse, causing discomfort and pain for your dog and increasing the risk of bacteria and infection underneath. Always use a pet shampoo and conditioner, never human ones, as a dog's pH levels are very different to our own and it can cause skin irritations or sensitivities. I always look for a natural pet shampoo and conditioner with essential oils and botanicals, no nasty chemicals and not tested on animals, which is why I use the DGG range. Regular brushing at least once a week at home helps to keep your dog clean. It prevents matting, increases circulation, and it reduces shedding, which Darcy needs. Longer hair will need more. If you have a dog with a double coat, use a de-shedding brush or a rake to remove the undercoat to help keep them cool in summer and avoid matting in the winter. Mindy's not really helping us here, is he, buddy? No. <laughs> Regularly trim and also clean around your dog's fringe and around their eyes as well. You use a damp cloth to remove any of that gunk which can block their tear ducts and cause infection as well. Likewise, regularly gently clean the inside of your dog's ears with a wet cloth or pet ear wipes. If they're rubbing at their ear or shaking their head more than usual, then get a vet to check them out. Daily cleaning with the dog toothpaste and brush is also really important in between professional cleans as gum disease impacts on their overall health. Fresh breath and plaque control products can also help. Now, long nails on a dog can cause them pain, so they need to be kept trim. You don't want to cut through the red nerve though in there, and you can usually see that quite well in clear nails, but on dark nails it can be tough, so if you're unsure or they do have those dark nails like Darcy does on some of the front ones, then ask your groomer or your vet to show you how to do it. It. To help with your home grooming needs, look for the DGG range at quality pet stores or visit the website.